What happens in the Callisto Protocol? Plot Explanation Jacob Lee and his friend Max are contract laborers and haulers, and are tasked with transporting items from Jupiter's moon Europa to the nearest moon, Callisto. They are intercepted by a group called the Outer Path and Jacob's ship crashes. As a result, Max dies in a plane crash and Jacob and Outer Way member Danny Nakamura are captured by Captain Ferris from the Black Iron Prison and sent there. While there, Jacob escapes due to the outbreak and befriends an inmate named Elias. Using his knowledge of the facility due to the lengthy sentence, Elias leads Jacob throughout the facility as our brave hero gathers new gear, weapons, and must fight an unknown alien parasitic presence trying to kill everyone. After many obstacles along the way, Jacob and Elias are able to meet, get dressed, leave the facility, and attempt to escape through Callisto's surface. However, an accident during the subsequent escape hardly leaves Jacob with his own life, and he eventually finds Elias, whose suit has torn and succumbs to Callisto's unruly conditions. At the same time, Danny finds Jacob and refuses to go with him, considering him unreliable, but says that she will meet him at the nearest hangar. Once there, they find a transport to go to a ship that can take them from the moon, but find Jacob's crashed ship along the way. She learns what the real load was between Jacob and Max and realizes that Jacob didn't really know that he and Max were trading, cooling down the feud between them. Just as they are about to escape, Black Iron Overseer Cole appears and destroys the ship, with Jacob and Danny separated. After circling the area and making their way through Midtown, the pair find each other and end up confronting Captain Ferris, who is presumed dead after being attacked by the creatures. Now he is a bigger, stronger, more alien version of himself and fights Jacob. After apprehending him, Jacob flees, but Danny is attacked by a parasite that infects her with the disease. The pair continue and make their way to the main testing facility, where they find Dr. Caitlin Mahler, the woman who inserted the dark iron ships into Jacob and Danny. She gives Danny an inhibitor to stop the spread, but says the only cure is to defeat Warden Cole's alpha monster and get the antidote from it. Explanation of the ending of the Callisto Protocol Jacob comes face to face with Warden Cole, who explains that the true purpose of the Callisto Protocol is to recreate the original Subject Zero as Subject Alpha in order to move on to the next step of human evolutionary growth. This culminates in a final boss fight with Captain Ferris becoming the new Alpha, challenging Jacob to fight him. Although Jacob initially fights Captain Ferris as a large humanoid figure, he eventually transforms into a giant, hulking flesh with a sharp tendril and extra limbs. Despite this, Jacob manages to kill him and extract the Alpha sample from Ferris, which is needed to cure Danny of the biophages. Before the events of the final boss fight, Jacob desperately searches for a way to save Danny. He has to trust Dr. Mahler to sink Jacob and Donnie's core to each other so he can find out what really happened during the attack on Europa, Jupiter's other moon. Dr. Mahler then tells Jacob that he can synthesize an antidote for Danny if he can extract a sample from Guardian Alpha. As Jacob goes to confront the Guardian, he gradually gains access to the events on Europa that were shown in the prologue. He experiences what Danny went through on Jupiter's other moon, where the original biophage outbreak occurred. This culminates in the realization that the outbreak on Europa was his responsibility and there was no terrorist attack, as the memories forced on him by his dead co-pilot Max Burroughs reveal that Jacob had indeed found the alien larvae he was transporting to Europa and decided to take a look. Another way. It is this revelation that pushes Jacob to quickly find a cure for Danny and correct his past mistakes. Upon reaching the top of the tower, Jacob bursts into the conference room, where he sees Warden Cole discussing his plans with three masked men, who begin referring to Jacob as a survivor and Vir Solidarius, which means lonely man. It is here that Cole reveals the true purpose of the Callisto Protocol. He wants to ensure the survival of mankind by forcing the next evolutionary stage so that our species can survive in the uninhabitable and far reaches of space. Cole arranges for Jacob to fight Captain Ferris, who is his Alpha. After Jacob emerges victorious in the final fight, 
he retrieves the alpha sample from Ferris and injects it into Danny, which saves her life. However, Cole activates a self-destruct sequence and the entire tower is set to explode after Jacob refuses his offer to leave the sample to him instead. Jacob and Danny run to the pods before the facility explodes, only to find that there is only one. Jacob pushes Danny into the escape pod and activates its function. When Danny begs him to stop, Jacob apologizes to her for his behavior in Europe, which led to her sister's death. Jacob watches as the escape pod takes off from Callisto and turns around to fight the large group of infected who rush in after them. As Danny flies to safety, she realizes she is carrying one of the alien larvae. Finally, she has the evidence needed to expose the United Jupiter Company in connection with the biophage that destroyed Europa and the Dark Iron Prison Colony. Danny hopes that Jacob found peace in death, whether he wanted to right his wrongs or find atonement for the pain he caused. Jacob dies in the Callisto Protocol. Jacob does not die at the end of the Callisto Protocol. Despite the ending showing him fighting hopelessly against hordes of infected in a facility set to self-destruct, the final scene shows Jacob successfully killing the infected, with Dr. Mahler contacting him to say there might be a way out. This does not guarantee that Jacob will survive. But all this hints at the continuation of the hero's story in the new DLC, which Striking Distance Studios promised to release in 2023. Knowing that there is still story DLC on the horizon increases the likelihood that Jacob will survive the tower's self-destruction. Does the Callisto Protocol have a post-credits scene? No, the Callisto Protocol does not have an extra post-credits scene. After the end credits end, you will return to the main menu. Thus, the fates of Jacob, Danny, and Ferris are ultimately left open. Since game director Glenn Schofield has already confirmed to Inverse that plans for a sequel are in the works, we'll likely get those questions answered in future games. Until then, fans can speculate on whether Jacob managed to defy everything and escape Callisto unscathed.